they're not even tight. Easy. larger than the hole. It's got some dirty on there. Watch you choose it just a no. Let's move it in our box here on the stove. side of this was clearly applied with adhesive that sticks really well. Top side where the sending unit screwed, nothing. Mm. So the gasket, yeah, what to do about that? I've looked for them, can't get them anywhere. So first I bought some Felpro cork gasket material from a parts store. Got me corkage. And I had a paid membership to a shop that gives access to lots of tools, equipment, machinery, computers. So I took a course on their laser cutter at the shop and then set up to cut out some gaskets. I scanned the old gasket in grayscale on my own printer scanner, fiddled with it in the software, and then told the laser cutter what to do with it. You know, what scale and how many, etc. And away we go. I'm not sure these settings are optimal, I mean, with this flame coming out and all. But if what they say is true,
These gaskets came out pretty good. As you can see, I'm making many, and I'll make them available to other Mazda RX-3 owners. I'm gonna sell them on eBay. I'll put a link to eBay in the YouTube description down below. So what we have here is a fuel sending unit for a Mazda RX-3. It's a uh, 76. It's a 38 year old fuel sending unit and float. Gonna test it, see if I can get a reading on this puppy. I'm gonna put one lead to where the vehicle plugs into it. And the uh, black lead goes to common ground. Got nothing. That leads me to believe this sending unit is dead. Yeah, look at that. Pretty damn well corroded. When I connect to the back here, I get that reading there. So I might be getting a poor reading because of all this corrosion all over the thing. So I need to clean it up. It's either that or the sending unit is dead. I figured that it was all the corrosion on here that why I wasn't getting a good reading. So I took it to the blast cabinet, cleaned it up, and now we're going to retest the device. Let's take a look here and see what we've got. All right, now the reading is 91.7.8, almost 92. That would be a empty tank of gas. And now when we move the float, it works just like a rheostat. And the reading is less than 10 ohms. That would be a full tank of gas. No, yeah, that would be a full tank of gas. All right, so let me bring this back down to an empty tank. And we have a consistent reading of 91.6, almost 91.7 for an empty tank of gas. Let's get a look at the factory manual here, see what it has to say about Sending unit resistance. Looks like 88 plus or minus one. Okay, that's not a whole lot of change. And then on a full tank, it's looking like 2.5 plus five. So at anywhere from zero to 7.5. Okay, fair enough. Okay, let's test these fuel sending units. Uh, both were plated. Um, they both worked before they went to the platers. Let's take a look. This one here is off the 76. We'll test it first. Black to ground. So with the float all the way down, according to the book, I should have 87 to 89 ohms. I've got 87.5. I'm going to say that works. And then let's raise this up like it's a full tank of gas. Hold on, let me get a better grip. Full tank of gas should have between 7.5 and 0 ohms. We've got 3 ohms. So this puppy works. Now let's get a look at this extra that I've got from Tony. All right, what do we got here? On empty, it says 73.2 ohms. That's low, it's supposed to be between 87 and 89. So this will still make the fuel gauge work. It just might not really say empty when I am empty. So, hmm, not good. Let's check the uh, full tank, see how that works. Yeah, see, now a full tank is going to show, I can get that to settle down, two ohms, so I'm just going to let this down like it's 
tank going empty. Yeah, looking good. Works. So both fuel senders work. Do any of you have a factory manual for a 73 RX3? The sending unit I got from Tony, I believe, is from a 73. And maybe the specification for resistance is different on a 73. So, uh, yeah, if you happen to have that information, please leave me a comment in the comment section down below. We'd love to hear about that. Coming up next, we scope the fuel tank, take a look inside, and we clean and seal the fuel tank. Click our icon to subscribe and don't miss out on our upcoming videos. Peace out, brother.